Welcome to Neo Royal House of Pricey Cardboard. On today's episode of Commander Gameplay, I have a game that Chain asked me to edit for a very long time since we recorded it with BT Game Night. So as a thank you for you and Liz being our supporter on Patreon, here's your game, good sir. I will be playing Zerda the Dawn Waker. This deck is looking to use Zerda's reduction to activate a lot of artifacts and enchantments, to draw, equip, or more importantly, create a lot of tokens, eventually closing the game with burn from Perforos or combat damage. BT will be playing the Golgari partner pair Numa, Jiraga Chieftain, and Miera, Thorn of the Glade. Once we get the cards from Kaldheim, I'm sure BT will have a lot of new toys to jam into this deck if it's still on the shelf. For now, this is a pretty typical elf ball list, looking to take over the table with a lot of elves and some useful black cards like tutors and removals. Chain will be playing CDC Brood Tyrant. This is a rat colony build looking to use the cards that usually don't work in Commander as they require you to have multiples of a single card. CDC still makes zombies while milling the rats as all she cares about is milling creatures. Last but not least, Liz will be playing Fenax, God of Deception. Since the first game we played with Liz, we knew that she liked milling strategy, and now we're going to see the extent of its power. Since Fenax cares about toughness, she is running a lot of high defense creatures like walls to attack our library directly. Our opening hand contains Wall of Frost, Consuming Aberration, Demir Charm, Tormod Script, Drowned Catacomb, a Swamp and a Basic Island. This looks like a great hand, missing maybe a piece of rim, she has some great creatures for Fenax, a Grave 8 against CDC and another instant removal. Chain's opening hand contains Rat Colony, Beast Whisperer, Find to Finality, Search for Askenta, Farseek, Overgrown Tomb, and a Rejuvenating Springs. This seems like another great hand, a little low on lands, but with the Farseek we are sure to reach at least 3. Once the Beast Whisperer is in play, Chain will be able to play rats after rats. In the worst case scenario, the Search for Askenta can help him dig for lands. BT's opening hand contains, you guessed it, two lands. Elvish Mystic, Priest of Titania, Widows, Lanowar Scout, Leyland of Abundance, Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, and a basic forest. While he may only have two lands, the whole hand just screams mana. He will be getting the Leyland on board as a pre-game action, making both his mana dorks even more valuable. My opening hand contains Tilonali's Summoner, Skull Clamp, Arcan Singet, Despian Stage, A Plains, and two basic mountains. This feels like a good hand as well. If I can make a couple of 1-1s with the Summoner, the Skull Clamp will feed me card for days. Despian Stage is a good card to have right now as well, because all of my opponents could be playing Cabal Coffers, and two of them could be playing some form of Cradle. I get to start this off. But before I go, BT has a pre-game action. He puts Leyline of Abundance on the table from his opening hand. I then land drop a plains and cast Expedition Map. Liz land drops an island. Chain land drops Overgrown Tomb. And BT land drops a forest before casting Elvish Mystic. I land drop a mountain and cast Arcan Singer, following me up with my Skull Clamp. Liz land drops Drowned Catacombs and pass. Chain land drops Rejuvenating Springs and then cast Search for Ascanta. BT land drops Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, and cast Priest of Titania. Following up with Well Wisher. I'll end up Thespian Stage and cast my commander, Zerda the Down Waker. At my end step, Liz casts Demir Charm, destroying Priest of Titania. She untaps and end up the swamps before casting Talisman of Progress. Is it that the, the blue white uh, one, uh, Liz? Uh, ye oh. Yeah! That was the blue. <laughs> it's supposed to be the blue-black one! Uh, we'll just say it's the blue-black one. <laughs> At his upkeep, Chain puts a rat colony in his graveyard with a search. He then end drops Fitted Pool and casts Farseek, searching for Zagat Thryome. BT casts Wood Elves, and during the battlefield, he searches for his overgrown tomb. I use this time to crack my expedition map for Nyctos Shrine to Nyx. BT then casts one of his commander, Miara, Thorn of the Glade. Shh, I'm only here to give access to Black. I then drop Nyctos and cast Tilonali's Summoner. I then cast Goblin Engineer. Entering the battlefield, I put to graveyard my Arcan Encyclopedia. I go to combat and send Zerda to BT while he doesn't have good blocks. Liz then drops Clearwater Pathway and cast Consuming Aberration. She then casts Tormod's Crypt, triggering the Aberration, and we mill until we hit a land. I can't seem to find one and go 7 cards deep. 
at Chain's upkeep, he puts Watery Grave in his graveyard with the Surge. He then drops Yavi Maya Coast and casts Beast Whisperer. At the end step, BT taps Well Wisher to gain 5 life. He then untaps and then drops Tainted Wood. He casts Court of Ambition, becoming the Monarch. I then drop a Mountain and cast Whisperer's Bubble. I then activate Goblin Engineer to trade the Bubble for the Arcan Encyclopedia in my graveyard. After that, I activate the book to draw. Before passing, I equip the Skull Clan to Zerda with the floating mana. You want the Monarch. You need the Monarch. <laughs> you need the Monarch. <laughs> Liz then drops a Swamp and casts Mind Crank. The Aberration triggers and I mill 5 again. The Aberration is currently a 32-32 from her combined graveyards. She casts Flooded Woodland. The Aberration triggers and I mill 7 again, bringing the Aberration to 45. Just so you know, I mailed, uh, I mailed this so I can exile it from my grave and give indestructible to my stuff. If you have 6 mana, which you don't. Yes. Okay, well, okay. in fact, it's 5 minus 2, so it's 3, and I have 3. Math is overrated. <laughs> Heading into combat, Liz attacks BT with the Aberration. Before blocks, BT activates World Wisher to gain 5 life. He then blocks with Wood Elves. Upon dying, Miara triggers and BT pays to draw. Since he paid a life, Minecrank mills him one card. At his upkeep, Chain puts the top card of his deck into his graveyard and transforms the enchantment into Askenta the Sunken Ruin. He then drops Ip2 Rivulet as his land for turn and casts his own commander, CDC Brood Tyrant. So we have a word for enemies to mutilate it for military services. No. 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 Furnitures. Oh, you're gonna mill some more! Excellent, excellent! Three more? Beast Whisperer first draws on cast, and then as CDC enters the battlefield, he mills three Field of the Dead, Cyclonic Rift, and Pack Rat. Aww, Pack Rat. This Sad. is your fault, Liz. Nobody else. Is. I know. This is, well, no, this is your fault. You <laughs> mill. Nope, it's all your fault. You're playing the mill deck. You, you, you're right, also playing the mill deck. all the way over there. She's got to reach. After that, he casts Rat Colony, triggering Beast Whisperer. He passes. As BT is still the Monarch, each opponent chooses to lose 6 instead of discarding 2. This, however, triggers Mind Train to mill us 6 more. Chain gains a zombie, and the aberration is a 61 61. BT casts Viridian Corruptor. Entering the battlefield, he destroys the mind crank. Why do you hate fun? Because he's playing Infect. <laughs> <laughs> After that, he casts Nature's Lore, searching his library for a basic forest. And at the end step, I transform Thespian Stage into a Plains. I untap and then drops a Plains. I draw a second card with the Arcan Encyclopedia. I head into combat and attack Liz with Zerda and send the summoner to BT. The summoner triggers an attack and I pay to make 5 one ones. BT blocks a token with a corruptor and take the rest. This makes me the monarch. I draw at the end step and pass. Liz cast her commander, Fenax, god of deception. So you wish to learn of Nyx. Very well. No! This triggers the Aberration, bringing it to 68-68 after a meal. Liz then taps the Aberration. Please chain, we need some room. We need some room. mill out BT right now. I could, I could, but I was just hit by, by a commander, so I will mill Neo for no. 68. No! <laughs> I don't have any printer removal in here. Why me? <laughs> I mill 53 cards and run out of deck. As we go to Chain's turn, I agree to not block his creature to give the Monarch away. Chain land drops Interland Arbor, and for his combat step, sends two zombies to Liz and the Rat Colony to me. Chain becomes the Monarch. In second main, Chain casts Wood Elves, drawing from the Whisperer and then searching his library for a basic forest. Chain moves to end step and draws from Monarch. At the end step as well, BT activates his Wall Wisher, gaining 6 life. We then go to the upkeep, me and Chain takes 3, while Liz discards Narset Parter of Veils. BT then drops a Gaia's Cradle, and then casts Praetor's Council. In response, Liz cracks the Crypt to exile his graveyard. He then heads into combat, attacking with the Corruptor for 2 infect damage. Flooded Woodland triggers, and he sacrifices a Swamp. In second main, he casts Shaman of Forgotten Ways. He then pass. At the end step, I trade my Encyclopedia for my Chaos Wand. Chain responds with the activated ability on Askenta. 
failing to find. I go to my upkeep and activate my Chaos One. Uh, this one right here. This one. Okay, I'm gonna target this you. Uh, one. Man, you are nothing. Murder is cut. All right, no! I'm gonna no! kill the thing. No, don't, don't, don't do it. I will no, do it. It killed me. I then re-switch the one for the Encyclopedia and end my game on my own terms. Liz casts Glacial Wall and then Wall of Frost, passing. Jane casts Unearth to return Tetsuko Omizawa Fugitive to the battlefield. He then deals for Treasure Cruise. He then drops Drowned Catacombs and after that he casts Find, returning two Rat Colony to his hand. He then casts three of these, drawing each time from the Whisperer. Going to combat, one Rat Colony attacks Liz. At the end step, BT taps the Wellwisher to gain 5 life. And then, at his upkeep, Liz and Chain lose 3 from the card. He lands up the forest and casts his second partner, Numa Joraga Chieftain. A single tree does not make a forest. We are stronger when we stand together. He then casts Lanoir Scout. At the end step, Liz mills BT for 7, before going to her turn. Liz transmute Mother the Mixture, trying to find an answer. She tutors for Mind Grind. She then casts the Mind Grind where X equal 1, as she expects the rat to take her out anyway. Chain gets a zombie in the process. He then untaps, float 8 mana in his main face and proceeds to attempt to cast 4 rat colonies. BT, however, has an answer and we go back to when the first rat is on the stack. He casts Beast Within, targeting the Beast Whisperer. Chain reacts with Heroic Intervention. He then casts the 3 remaining rats, drawing each time. Before going to combat, BT activates the Ley Line to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each of his creatures. Chain sends 2 rats to Liz and 2 rats to BT. Before dying, Liz mills Chain by 21 with her 3 creatures. Chain does create 2 zombies off of this, whiffing on a third mill. And then I die horribly to some rats. Welcome to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. At the end step, Chain draws from Monarch. And BT gains 9 life from the Well Wisher. At BT's upkeep, Chain discards Fable Passage to the court. BT then casts Diabolic Tutor. Remember when I said I wouldn't place a DC because I would run out of deck before turn 6? <laughs> <laughs> he casts Wirewood Channeler and pass. Chain untaps and goes straight to combat, sending 72 power worth of unblockable rats to BT. BT reacts with Moment's Peace, the card I suppose he tutored for. Chain has a reaction and casts Commit which is honestly one of the best answers he could have for the flashback fog. BT cannot block because of Tetsuko and the rats take over the world. Well played. Looking back at this game and with no preset script to tell you about, uh, let's go over this game. Liz got her aberration real big and real fast. She took me out of the game because I sent her my commander for 4 damage. I had a Nokia start but not fast enough to compete. BT was in the same boat, building some elf on the battlefield, but without some real draw like a Beast Whisperer or Guardian Project, he was limited to some play from his hand. And once the aberration was dealt with, Chain was able to build his massive board, rats after rats, and make them unblockable with Tetsuko, so he was really able to take over the table. On the last turn, I was surprised BT didn't fetch for a board wipe, but in the end wouldn't have mattered because Chain has a, had the counter spell anyway. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to subscribe and like for more as we're releasing new video every Thursday. See you soon and take care.